What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome to another review and this one we're going to be comparing two of Harbor Brake's brake bleeders uh, that are readily available in store. So this is the Mighty Vac MV8000 and this is the Pittsburgh brand brake bleeder vacuum pump kit. So both of these I was able to pick up in store and if you guys have seen the video that I did on this or happen to be uh, subscribed to the channel, you'll know uh, that one almost is at 200,000 views, so crazy. Uh, and of course, during that video, if you watched it, you'll see I made a lot of mistakes because my main goal really was just to show you guys this. I've never used one before. I was kind of excited to try it out, and uh, I accidentally made some mistakes. So we're going to go through those because uh, they are common mistakes that I've seen on a lot of the reviews on Harbor Freight's website for this. I left that video up due to the fact that the comments really helped me out and I noticed it was helping a lot of you guys out as well. And I'm going to utilize a lot of those comments that you guys gave and kind of fill you in on some of the things I learned specifically about this one here. So we're going to do a side by side comparison and we're going to go through a list and I'm going to rate that list on a scale of one to five and that's going to allow us to know which one of these is the better choice and we're going to use simplified systems of price quality ease of use and how well it actually works and i'm going to be giving them a score of one to five five being the greatest so our first head-to-head -head item is going to be price and the pittsburgh brake bleeder comes in at 24.99 and the Mighty Vac comes in at $44.99. So obviously the Pittsburgh Brake Bleeder beats it by a fair margin and it's the cheapest on the market that I could find. So it is gonna get a five out of five and the Mighty Vac is gonna get a 3.5 out of five. Next, let's open up each package so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of quality. and let's go ahead and remove everything out. So if you go ahead and open this up, the first thing, go ahead and remove this uh, shipping spacer here. That's gonna allow you to fully pump up the device. I know, obviously, that was a dumb mistake I made on the first round, but there's a lot of people who have done that exact same thing, end up either returning or throwing away uh, the perfectly working brake bleeder. So make sure you do that first. Then you wanna make sure you open up the container check all the pieces make sure they're all there and if you open up your instructions to uh, page seven you're going to see all the components that should be in there and as i look down here i can confirm that they are all here before assembling our pump we want to make sure it's going to create and hold vacuum and we can test that by putting our finger on the end here and we're going to look around here and we have measurements in inches of mercury on the outside and millimeters of mercury on the inside. We're gonna pay attention to the outside numbers and uh, we're just gonna pump it a few times. And there we go, so we're over 15 inches and it's holding the vacuum. So we can now either release it here, which I'll do, or obviously we just take our finger off. So now let's go ahead and open up the Mighty Vac. Okay, as you can see here, very similar stuff included in your hoses your bottle, the cap, the other hoses, almost identical things, but they do feel better quality. So we'll get all these out and set them off to the side. We will also do a vacuum test to make sure we don't have any leaks in our main unit. So just pump it once, hold it, and then you actually have a release handle here. It's time for our second side-by-side -side test, which is quality. And I can tell you right out of the box, this Mighty Vac is way more sturdy, made out of much better materials, has a much better release point here, and it just feels really nice in the hand. And you can tell it's gonna last a lot longer. Now, I could tell you I've already had one of these, and it wasn't bad, but it last did not last that long. I do not have full experience with this, but we're basing it on out of box quality. So also, a heads up, all of the components that came with the Mighty Vac seem to be way nicer. So we're gonna have to go with, on a scale of one to five, we're gonna go with a four on the Mighty Vac, and we're gonna go with a two on the Pittsburgh. 
Our next head-to-head -head item up is going to be ease of use. And I included this because I think it's very important for somebody who's maybe never used one of these items or maybe never bled brakes before in their life, how easy it is to assemble one of these devices, how easy it is to use on the vehicle, and how well the adapters work right out of the box. So I decided to break this category down into three sections. So assembly, if you follow the instructions, both of these are extremely easy to put together and took me less than 10 minutes. They're kind of identical as far as the components and assembly goes. So I would have to give them both a five out of five on ease of assembly. So next, let's take a look at how easy these devices are to use on the vehicle. So they both come with about the same length hoses, which is a plus, because then you can use them outside the vehicle and you're not stuck underneath the car trying to pump out the brakes or any other thing that you're doing. So I have to say that they both have very similar ease of use on the vehicle, but the Mighty Vac has a much nicer handle and grip, and I feel like this here would hurt your hand over time. So I'm gonna have to give Mighty Vac a five out of five and I'm gonna go with a four out of five on the Pittsburgh so next up is the adapters and how easy they are to use on the right hand side here we've got our Pittsburgh one and it goes directly into the hose and it's a little difficult to squeeze into there on our left we have the mighty vac and that comes with a fitting that the adapter attaches to and it was real easy to slide on next we're actually gonna get underneath the car and try to add this adapter to our brake bleeder nipple. And as you can see, the Mighty Vac is, goes on nice and snug, but the Pittsburgh one goes on a little bit harder uh, and it doesn't seem to go on as nicely. Next, let's see how each one of these adapters creates and holds vacuum. And you can see here, the Pittsburgh one is doing quite well and I was surprised. So let's take a look at the Mighty Vac and see how well this adapter holds and creates vacuum. Looks like it's doing very well as well. So they both are actually holding up better than I expected out of the box. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Pittsburgh adapter a four out of five due to the fact that the adapter itself didn't seem to be high quality, but shockingly it held amazing vacuum. Moving on to the Mighty Vac, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five as well. The adapter was way higher quality, but it did seem to lose a little bit of vacuum if you look closely there, so I've got to knock it off a point on that. So let's move on to the next one now. So next up is going to be a head-to-head -head competition on how well each one of these brake bleeders works. We're going to be using our 1984 Porsche 944. What I'm going to do is set it up both on the exact same wheel, on the exact same caliper, and we're going to set it to the exact same vacuum inches of mercury. Then we're going to open up our bleeder screw, and we're going to see how well it flows, and we're going to judge it off of that. So let's get set up and test it out. So my goal on that test was to pump each one up to 15 inches of mercury, open up the bleeder valve, and let it flow till it went down to about 5 inches of mercury, which is about where they stopped flowing. And I wanted to see which one had more volume in the container. And this is the Mighty Vac one, and you can see way more volume of liquid in there, which means that it seemed to hold the vacuum a lot better and pull a lot better. And this one here is a lot less, I mean almost double in the Mighty Vac one there. 
So in a side-by-side -side comparison, I've got to give the Mighty Vac a 5 out of 5. I didn't have anything else to compare it to, and I'm going to have to give the Pittsburgh one a 3 out of 5 since it's a lot less liquid in the bottle there. Now, with all of that said, let's go ahead and tally up our score, and I'll talk about which one was my favorite and which one won the competition. So let's take a look at the total scores. Pittsburgh got a total of 23 points, while Mighty Vac edged it out with 26.5. Let me know what you guys think and what you would have scored these two head to head like I did. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing this. And I hope it helps you guys make a decision on which one you want to go with, whether you have a price budget. And I'm going to tell you this one will do the job or you want to spend a little bit more and maybe have an item that's going to last a lot longer. And that is my opinion. This Mighty Vac is, would be my go-to choice. And I feel the price difference doesn't outweigh the quality. So my choice would be Mighty Vac. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, which one you would go with, and why you would go with that. Also, let me know anything you guys saw that I could have done better or even something I might have missed. Once again, my name's Pete. This is Pete's Carport. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'm going to catch you on the next video.